Welcome to Animator Reviews. I just finished watching You Can't Kill Stephen King. The movie started out with a group of six friends who were on a trip to Maine to um, a lake house that the two characters, their brother and sister, inherited from their grandparents. And it just so happened that Stephen King also lives in a house that you can view from this lake. So that entices uh, one of the characters specifically. That's the only reason he wants to come other than trying to creep on and be pervy with another chick there, which is really icky. But they uh, come into the town and they're at a local diner that is not the friendliest place in the world, especially if you have children and um then they proceed to start asking you know we heard stephen king lives around here could you let us know where his house is and they first get told that he does not live there any longer and then leaving said diner they go to rent a boat to get to the lake house and they are told there that he's not really looking for any visitors anything like that so then, you know, starts to get the wheels turning like, oh, he does live here, so there is a chance. So, our movie gets very interesting when one of the friends fails to show up at the lake house and then they discover what happens to him. Then suddenly weird things are happening in the house and they're very Stephen King themed. I'll leave it there, not to give any spoilers away. So what did I like about this movie? I liked uh, the themes in it. Obviously, a lot of the references the casual Stephen King fan would get. I especially liked the dream sequence, which had huge hints of The Shining and It. One of my favorite scenes from It, which is the ridiculous scene. You'll you'll watch it and you'll see it, and then you'll giggle a little bit. Um, I mean, I know it's a horror comedy. I feel like it was also, you know, kind of a spoof movie, so I got into that. I'll go into my dislikes. So, there's a lot of time in this that we really didn't need. There's a lot of shots that we really didn't need over and over again with them in the water and, like, you know, I don't know what it's called when they're on the board, water surfing, whatever. I'm out of touch, guys been in my house a very long time. Um, I feel like we just didn't need that filler and it just like that part of the movie felt like cheesy 90s slasher movie to me which is not my favorite genre. It just isn't. I, I don't know. I feel like that whole chunk could have been taken out of there. There was a lot of time between the first kill and the next kill that it seems like an eternity which I really wasn't into because, again, I had a hard time paying attention. It is what it is. Some of the running jokes were pretty gross. Like, the one guy kept masturbating and then sniffing his hand really weirdly. And there was a funny part about that. Like, you just see him doing it by himself. And then, like, the last time he does it, the guy's like, Dude, stop that! And he's like, Oh, oh okay. Which was funny. I guess that was alright. Um... Some of the gore really was lackluster. I think there's, like, maybe three on-screen kills, but we only really get gore out of one of them, and it was pretty weak. I don't know. I felt like the guy... <laughs> this is gonna sound so bitchy, but the guy dying, like, it wasn't believable. It was a bit too, too dramatic for me, which... I don't know. Also, it's supposed to be a spoof movie, comedy horror so perhaps that was intended to be kind of hokey watch the movie draw your own conclusions I gave this a 2 out of 5 I, I would recommend it if you're a Stephen King fan if you really enjoy his films and his books you're going to have a good time you're going to find like you know a, a kindred feeling in the movie and what the director was trying to do just because, you know, a lot of the references, like, there's some that the casual viewer is going to get, but then there's some that, like, someone that's really into Stephen King is going to appreciate, so that's a bonus. I will put the director information, the release date, all of that stuff down below. I did watch this on Amazon Prime. I don't recall if it was on Shutter. It was just in my recommended movie list, so 
give it a watch. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Don't forget to like the video. Leave a comment with your thoughts. Have you seen this movie? In general, what are your feelings on this type of movie? What are your feelings on Stephen King? Leave them down below. Um, don't forget to hit the bell for all notifications of my future uploads and live streams. You can also find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews and on Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. And uh, I guess we all float down here or something. Take care, guys.